What's up YouTube? It's your boy Mark Dark and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love Wu-Tang, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today we'll be talking about Wu-Tang and American Saga Season 3 Episode 2. This is the recap. Now I'm going to try my best to focus on all the key points. If I miss anything, you guys let me know down below. This was another solid episode and so far the season is starting off very well in my opinion. Now the title of the episode is called All I Need and the description of the episode reads, As an album deadline nears, RZA must reconcile with his cousin Dirty by any means necessary. Dirty, however, takes refuge at Cherie's apartment. The friendship between Ghostface and Raekwon strengthens as they discuss a potential collaboration. So those are the key elements of this episode. Your boy ODB, he was on one. We only got to see a little bit of Method Man. I know he was coming off his tour. I believe later on in the season, we'll see a little bit more of his character, but he's doing very well as of right now within the story. But let's get into this recap. What did we see in episode two? It starts out with Cherie. She goes and she visits ODB and she's the only one that's been there so far. And she's asking him, what went down? Like, you know what I'm saying? How is he up in here? And of course, he's not going to tell her the truth. He's, you know, bringing up a story about a damn cat lying through his teeth. And then he asked her, could she go get him some jello? And once she does that, this man takes her keys and he gets up out of there. I'm like, man, this dude don't care at all. And I guess he really didn't want to see Bobby at the hospital, but we know he will see him by the end of the episode. Now, Sheree is still at the hospital on the TV. We see your boy Puff Daddy giving an interview. Of course, we know his son is playing him in this show. Bobby finally arrives with Mecca and he wants to know what happened. Sheree tells him she thinks he jumped out of a window. That's why he was in the hospital in the first place. And of course, he left because he knew Bobby was on his way there, right? And Bobby sees all the drugs that he was on and he's very upset. I mean, he was putting a lot of blame on himself on why this all went down and he just wants to find his cousin. So that's what they planned on doing in this episode. Now we get back to the Wu mansion and all the members are talking about Dirty and the last time that they saw him and they're kind of concerned because they don't want him to mess all of this up and they're just trying to focus on music and we know Ray, he really wants to focus on what he wants to do next. He is talking about how he doesn't have a lot of songs and Ghostface is telling him like, look, you just need some inspiration. They're going to be watching some flicks and pretty much throughout the entire episode, they're just, you know, coming up with different ideas on new music, which we know eventually they're going to end up working together in the collaboration. But that's all we pretty much saw between them throughout the whole episode. Just brainstorming and bonding. Now, Cherie, she goes back home and she notices that her baby is not there. She sees the note. And so she knows now why her baby is not there. Your boy ODB, he refused to leave. And as you can see right here, he's laying out on the couch, just relaxing. And I'm thinking like, man, I'm surprised the dude even showed up and went to her spot. I thought he was going to go out and just turn up once again, but he didn't. And you know Cherie is definitely going to call him out later on in the episode. Now Cherie does let Bobby know that Dirty is there and he's okay. Divine, he's upset. He's like, look, we have a meeting tomorrow with the Electra. We have to go. We have to, you know, present something to them about ODB, right? And Bobby is like, look, we got to push that back. Divine is like, we can't push that back. We are going to end up breaching our contract and we're going to end up having to pay 800000 and we cannot afford to do that. So you better be figuring out something. We got to go to this meeting. We cannot afford to ruin our reputation and, of course, the business. Now, we know Mecca, she's kind of upset that Bobby is so stressed out. He's always focusing on music and she's telling him, like, look, you just need a break. You need some relaxation. No partying. You know, maybe me and you, we can just go hang out with peace or whatever that's what she wants to do but we learn later on in the episode she's really just planning to break up with him because she cannot take all of this stress anymore you know what i'm saying bobby ain't coming to bed he's always in that studio i believe he was down there for like six months or something like that and she's tired of it she is tired of him always bringing up music and you know she thought she could deal with it at first but now She's through and it really hurt her to do this. And you know, your boy Bobby, he was definitely in his feelings because this was the last thing that he expected to happen. Now we get back to Cherie and ODB and she's mad at him for what he's done. He apologizes about the whole car thing, but she tells him he plays around too much and what he's doing, 
he's just overdoing it even though him and Bobby have issues. He states that Bobby's always trying to control things and pretty much treats him like a child, like he can't make the right decisions about, you know, this whole music stuff. Now she does tell him that he can continue to stay there. She just wants him to keep quiet and it goes to show you that she really loves him, but at the same time, she will call him out when he's messing up. Then we get to your boy Divine and you God and you God is coming to pick up his check. And of course he's pissed off. Divine tells him like, look, we had to give you health insurance and you guys, he didn't care at all. He didn't care about no health insurance, but Divine is like, well, when you get sick or something happens, you're going to have to pay that bill. So you might as well just take this benefit because you don't want to get screwed over when it's all said and done. Now we know they end up dropping off the whole remix version for all I need and they're waiting for RZA's approval. We know your boy Puff Daddy, you know, put his mix on it and RZA does listen to it later on in the episode. Now Divine meets up with Rodriguez from Elektra and he's just trying to make sure that the meeting is going to go down between RZA and ODB. They're going to be there and of course Divine tells him he wants to reschedule. He wants to have a different date. But the dude is like, look, man, we already rescheduled before. He can't go back to his people and tell them that we got to have another date. I mean, at this point, they're losing money. ODB was supposed to already have this album done and they sitting back just waiting on him. It's a lose-lose. So they're going to need something. This meeting definitely has to happen. And Divine will be going back to your boy Bobby to let him know that Ain't no other options. They got to have this meeting to discuss what's next for ODB in his music. Then we get to Method Man and RZA. And we know Method Man had just got back from his tour. So y'all know he feeling good. And of course, they end up listening to the remix version of All I Need, the P. Diddy version. And RZA, he's in the zone. All he can think about is Mecca and how he screwed up. And I want to know if he's going to try to go back and try to get her by the end of the season. We know Method Man is telling him that he's happy that he got a track with Mary J in general. And he tells him the reason why he even wrote the song in the first place. Now we get to your boy Power. He's having a conversation with Divine and he's trying to talk to him about Woo Wear and just expanding and try to build that brand and business and what they need to do to expand it. Now Power has found a spot where they can, you know, sell the clothes at. He just needs the investment. But at first, Divine was like, nah, I can't really do it. And he knows they can't really do it for real because money is tight. But Divine is not going to tell him this. And after talking to him a little bit more, Divine agrees with him. And he's talking about how he cannot wait to see his vision. Y'all let me know. Did he make the right move by agreeing with power in this whole wear investment as of right now? Or should he have waited until money started to come in a little bit more? Now, Gary's having a conversation with Bobby. Y'all know Bobby, he's stressed out about this music and, you know, the money they're going to make or if they're going to end up getting dropped by Electra if everything does not go well. He's just worried about everything and everybody's deals. Gary tells him, like, look, don't stress out because when it's his turn to shine, he going to do what he got to do. He going to help take that stress off his back and it will all be worth it when it's all said and done. And we know Gary does go into the studio with Bobby later on in the episode. Now we get back to ODB and man, Sheree is getting tired of him. He's acting real childish. Um, you know, she's getting him some clothes to wear. He ain't liking them. He's complaining about everything and she's tired. She's like, dude, I done helped you out with a place to stay. I mean, I'm taking care of you and you still acting real funny. Like you got to grow up. You know what I'm saying? Eventually you have to grow up and do what you need to do. And like I told y'all, even though she's letting him stay there, she's going to keep it real with him no matter what. Now, throughout the entire episode, we saw Ray and Ghostface linking up, talking about different ideas when it comes to music. Ray does tell him he wants to collaborate with him with an album. And I wonder if they're going to show us more of that later on in this series. But it's crazy to see how far these two have come, especially since season one, because we know they hated each other. Now, RZA does run into your boy Puff Daddy to talk about the All I Need remix. And Puff Daddy's like, look, we need to stick together and maybe we can work on something else down the line. And RZA... He had that look on his face like, yeah, OK, like he was like, man, I ain't really trying to work with you, but it is what it is. He wants to be all Wu-Tang and he pretty much talked about that later on in the episode with ODB. They want to keep it all Wu-Tang, but, you know, Puff Daddy was just trying to do some business with him. Now, Bobby and Divine, they meet up with Rodriguez from Electra, and of course he wants to hear ODB's music and all their plan is beats. That's it. They just playing all these different beats. He's liking them or whatever, but he's like, look, we need something else. We need ODB. I want to know what he sounds like, what y'all working on. All of a sudden he walks in, you know, of course he starts to perform and Rodriguez, he's happy. He's like, look, I like this. And he does tell them that he cannot give them an advance, 
but he wants to hear more of this music. So you already know him and Bobby, they're about to put in that work and make sure they get this music out and get this album done, especially if they don't want to breach that whole contract. Now they finally get ODB to the Wu Mansion. Now he can finally focus on music and get this work done. And that's a good thing because we know he was going through it these first two episodes, but now that he's here, it's time for them to go ahead and put in that work. Your boy Gary, he's ready to put in that work. ODB, he's ready. They're very excited. And we know Bobby, he wants to make sure all of this gets done. And he finally has a conversation with ODB, telling him that he's sorry that he signed him to Electra without him knowing. And, you know, they pretty much just squash the issues that they have and they continue to just focus on music. And now we know the next episode is most likely going to be about ODB and, you know, them working on this album because they don't have a lot of time to get it done. But we know ODB, he wants to focus on like a rap comedy type style. Wow. And I can't wait to see it. Episode three, I will be doing that recap for you guys very soon. So stay tuned for that. Y'all let me know. What do y'all think about episode two? It seems like ODB and Bobby, they're back on good terms. Hopefully things go well, but we know everything's easier said than done, especially when we're talking about ODB. But I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support, and I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.